Hey everybody, it's Linnea and Maddie and welcome back to episode 12 of What the Youth. So today's video is space themed, so we thought that we would do a bunch of space activities, go over some space facts. Um, I don't really know much about space in general, so I'm going to be learning a few things as well. Um, I personally am a huge space nerd and I love space so much, so I'm excited that I can chat down with you all and Linnea and yes. discuss the thing that brings everyone together. Yes. Because when you think about it, no matter like where people are from in the world, no matter what they like, how old they are, like when everyone talks about outer space, they're all referring to the same one. Everyone right. always looks up to the same sun every day, to the same moon every night. And that's right. just like the awesome thing that I love about space is that it just kind of brings everyone together in that aspect that it's like really the only one that us all humans can all relate to. Yes, I agree with that. Um, I do like a good sci-fi movie. I also, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a show called Away on Netflix. No, I haven't. Okay, so it was so good. It's about like, it's like moms group people like going to Mars as mm. astronauts. But then they canceled the rest of the, like the rest of the show because of COVID. So oh, that's only, so annoying. So now there's only like one season and it like left us like with like suspense. Like there has to be another are they, season. Are they going to make one? No, it's like done. And I was that's so annoyed so annoying. about that because it like left you off with like, thinking like or like you have to have another season or like mm -hmm. a few seasons and now yeah yes so in honor of the space theme video i brought a star mask yes that i will probably not be wearing but it's the thought that counts yes so i know the planets but i don't know if linnea knows all of them in order so let's quiz you i actually do know all oh the planets okay, so closest to the sun to most far away let's hear it mercury venus earth Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Yes! What is another dwarf planet in our solar system? I did not know that there were two. Um, <laughs> well, because it's not like in our solar oh, system. Oh, I, like, I know I've heard of it. I forget. Okay, so it's between Mars and Jupiter. Never mind. <laughs> and it's called Ceres. Oh, yes, I did know yeah. that. So C-E-R-E-S. And uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, Ceres is small, but it's still like a planet. I did not even it know. It needs some love. <laughs> it still goes around our sun. Oh, I was just thinking like, what if there's actually more dwarf planets that haven't been discovered yet in our solar system? I mean, there is always that possibility. Because there could be ones like farther out into the field that are like light years away. Right. You know, per se, that like we just Because how far does our, our um, solar system stretch? Millions of miles. Like right. still, like the, it does raise that question of there could be other potential like planets orbiting our sun. Yes. Um, but to put it like in perspective, like how big our solar system is, like Mars is like the planet next like next door mm -hmm. um, to Earth, and it can take over six months to just like get there for humans. Even and on so, a spaceship. Well, yeah, it's not on a train. But it's like a wow factor in the fact that like. It would like it's gonna take lifetimes if everyone like if anyone does travel like beyond beyond like generations. Oh yeah, it take forever yes. unless they figure out a faster way of transportation. What if they did it through a wormhole? Oh my gosh! Or a yes. black hole? Actually, no, black holes wouldn't work, right? I mean, wormholes they do theoretically exist, but like, I mean, that definitely is like a possibility in there. Um, what's your favorite planet? Saturn. I'll go with Saturn. Why? It's got the rings. Yes. Do you I actually know Jupiter. What, do you Jupiter's actually know what large. the rings are? It's like it's like a dust. Um, yeah, like little like particles. Yeah. Anyways, um, I like Jupiter. It's quite large. Yeah. It's the largest, correct? It actually you can fit over like more than over a thousand Earths inside of Jupiter. That's crazy. Um, and you know the big spot in Jupiter? Yes. That spot, it's a storm that's been going on for a very, very long time, but that spot is three times um, the size of Earth, which is crazy because like when you just look at Jupiter, it's just like a dot, you, like, you think nothing of it, but yeah. like that is three times of Earth. That's crazy. Personally, I do love, okay, Saturn's my third favorite planet. Um, What's your first? Obviously Earth. Like I have two first, but like I love Mars just because like 
We've explored, like, that's we've like explored the, that yeah. law and that's gonna be soon. In like the early 2030s, like hoping to send humans there. I do love Saturn because it has a moon called Titan. Have you heard of Titan? Yes. Yeah, so it's a moon um, of Saturn. However, it does not, it's not like a moon like atmosphere, like our moon, it's like a planet atmosphere. Oh, and it has I lakes see. of methane. Took a while to get there. I don't think that there's any clothing that could protect you from that coldness. Um, well, mankind can make it. But yeah, I definitely love Mars. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Mars, they have blue sunsets and sunrises? That's so pretty. Because it's the way that like the sun like reflects on like that atmosphere. Oh, that's so cool. I know. Dude, Star Wars with their planets and they have like two yes, suns. Yes, the massive ships that just like live in space. That'd be so cool. That's like the future. Yeah, but every planet is very extraordinary and it's very, all planets are extremely, in our solar system, different to Earth, which makes it so, like, entertaining and, like, really eye-opening to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, but yes. I recommend watching, like, a space movie if you're not really into this topic. I think, yeah, like... Yeah, you started. The Martian is good. Yep. Of course, it's just based on Mars. Um, Interstellar was good. I don't think it's good for younger children, though. Interstellar is a very good movie. However, it is very complicated. Yeah. And it's not like a movie you just like. I put don't on think while it... like folding clothes, like you really have to like pay attention, like. Yeah. Really like put your head in it. What you know the North Star? Yes. What is the North Star's like real name? Because of course it's just be referred to as like the North Star, but like it has like a name other than the North Star. It starts with a P. You know, I do know this. I remember hearing it. Yeah. There's like so many, like so much to learn regarding space. Is it like Persephone or something? Um, no, it's not. It's actually Polaris. Um, hello. Hello. Goodbye. So Mars has a really big mountain um, on the surface of Mars and it's very large and it's way bigger than Mount Everest. And do you know the name of it? No. Olympus Mons is 21.9 kilometers <laughs> um, on oh, the surface geez. of Mars, which is crazy. That's, that's huge. Like Everest is like a, a P. Another really big, you know, structure, like structure, land structure that is on Mars is a canyon. The canyon is like three times the Grand Canyon. Um, and it's like almost as big as like if you were to put like the length in like California to like the East Coast. Um, do you know the name? No. Valles Monterey's. But yes, even though Earth or Mars is actually smaller than Earth. Yeah, I was gonna say. Cause if you're basically like, just like a rough estimate, if you were to take all of the water out and just put all the land mass together in Earth, that would like roughly estimated be the size of Mars. If you were to go into space, and you had to bring like one thing, what would you bring? Um, like, it's just like yourself, you're given like a pair of like clothes. Like all the, all the essentials. What's like you're literally just given like a pair of scrubs and you only have to bring one thing, what would you bring? And like, you don't have anything else. Like, you, you know, that's all you have. I'd bring food. Okay. Actually, no, I'd bring water. Okay, say like water and food will like be given to you. Like, like what's one thing, item like, that I would just want to like, have? The only like personal item that like oh. that they're not gonna supply for you. Um or like a supply of or whatever. I'm assuming that there is internet. Um so you wanna bring your phone? No, you can't really use your phone. My computer. That would die within the first <laughs> There's chargers? few days. I bring my glasses. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm in contact right now, but I am literally as blind as a bat. Lovely. Really no bat Actually, I does, would but. bring, hmm. I'd bring one of those like finger skateboards. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. But it'll just float because you're in space. I know. Oh. It's like an ongoing track. I 
can just like picture Linnea just like going in the International Space Station. I'll be just like doing my work and she'll be going like back and forth. <laughs> I can picture that. So that is all that we have for today's video. Again, I'm Linnea. And I'm Maddie. And thank you so much for watching today's episode of What the Youth. And we will see you all in the next episode.